Techtober continues here, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of new offerings, and especially in the workstation space. I've got a lot of great stuff that I've already reviewed, a lot more on the way. I got a lot of consumer laptops, a very special one coming this week. Stay tuned, you won't wanna miss it. But getting back to the matters at hand, I have a new offering from Dell. And I wouldn't be wrong if you thought this looked like the Dell XPS 15. In fact, it's nearly identical. But there are some differences under the hood. And one of the reasons I wanted to check it out, it has a gorgeous OLED display, really good processor options, really nice build and quality, and it has that Dell XPS 15 look, and it also can get the work done. It's a great video editor, it's a great powerful workstation. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the Dell Precision 5540. Coming up. Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit that subscribe button? I know a lot of you are not getting notified when I'm uploading new videos. I'm not sure what's going on with YouTube. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Hopefully you will be notified every time I post a new video. Now, because YouTube is unreliable, I would also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll let you know when I post a new video on those platforms as well. Now, in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, Dell sent this over for my unbiased opinion. I'm not being paid by Dell. I'm not being sponsored by Dell. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own, and no one is seeing this video before its release. Now, this review unit is on loan from Dell, and once this review is done, I am sending it back to Dell. Now, with that out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Inside the box is yet another box and that contains the workstation. We'll get to that in just a moment. An extension cord, a 130 watt power adapter that uses a barrel pin connector. Lifting the lid, you're greeted by the unit itself. And no, this is not the XPS 15, it's consumer cousin, but it is identical. Now this has pretty much been the same design for the last few years with the XPS 15, with this mobile workstation variant. And a lot of people have been clamoring for an updated design. I actually like it, it's true and tried, and it looks good in my opinion. And of course, as we always do, let's check out the port selection. Let's start off on the left side where you get your power port, USB-A 3.1 Gen 1, an HDMI 2.0, a Thunderbolt 3 port, and a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Moving over to the right side, you get a full-size SD card slot, love to see that, USB-A 3.1 Gen 1, power indicator light letting you know how much juice you have left, and a Kensington lock port. Now, one of the best parts of the Dell Precision 5540 is its display. It's the same exact display as the Dell XPS 15 7590. That's a good thing. An OLED display with a resolution of 3840 by 2160. It also is a very bright display coming in at 445 nits, making this an excellent choice for both indoor and outdoor use. And it covers the color gamut extremely well, 100% sRGB, 96% Adobe RGB. So if you're a creative professional, you can use this for Lightroom, Photoshop, and of course, video editing. It's got some excellent contrast, and of course, this being an OLED display, extremely deep blacks, very vibrant colors. This is an excellent job done by Dell on this display. I have to say, one of the best I've seen out there rivals that of anything by other manufacturers. This is one beautiful display, same as the XPS 15, so that's exactly what you're getting here. And you gotta love those extremely micro-thin bezels on this Infinity Edge display. Very good screen-to-body ratio. And the good news is they were able to put the webcam in a proper placement. So this is the front-facing camera on the Dell Precision 5540 uh, mobile workstation. I'm really impressed with this workstation as it really is an uh, excellent choice for those mobile professionals that need to do video rendering. CAD work, all sorts of things like that. Excellent OLED display. But here we're talking about the camera, 720p, 30 frames per second. It definitely can be used for Skype, definitely could be used for video conferencing. It's not bad, but I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. And the power button doubles as a fingerprint scanner, allowing you to log in with Windows Hello. Worked really well. 
Now, when it comes to the keyboard, I actually like it. Now, on the XPS 15 7590, I actually like that keyboard. Not everybody loves it. It's the same keyboard here. I think it's actually good in terms of tactile feedback. It does have a bit of a shallow key travel, of course, but these keys are nicely spaced out and comfortable to type on for extended periods of time. Now, it does have a multi-stage backlight that allows you to get worked on in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. That's always good. Now, it does have a precision touchpad, very comfortable, very responsive, and it also did well with two-finger scrolling and all the Windows 10 gestures work as advertised. I have to say it's a really good job once again. Now, one thing I love about the Precision 5540 is its easy upgradability. As far as the user is concerned, all you need to do is remove the torque screws and the two Phillips set screws under the service tag, and you're in. Now, once inside, you'll notice that you can upgrade the RAM, so that's excellent. You could also upgrade the SSD. And speaking of the SSD, the one it comes with does give you some very good reads and writes. And the Wi-Fi card is also upgradable as it is socketed in. That's good. Now, while inside, you'll notice the two fans, one for the CPU, one for the GPU. We'll talk about cooling and thermals in just a little bit. But you also will notice that 97 watt hour battery, that's pretty much near the legal limit you can take on an airplane. That would be 99 watt hours. Now, as far as battery life itself is concerned, it did seven hours and 40 minutes, which is not too bad for a mobile workstation, although it was less than the Dell XPS 15 7590 that I took a look at. That got eight hours and 14 minutes. My guess is the graphics on this are a little bit more intensive in the sense that it takes a little bit more battery. Again, this is a mobile workstation, although seven hours and 40 minutes for a workstation is not too bad. Now, as far as charging is concerned, it took just under two hours to give me a full charge. That's thanks to the 130 watt power adapter supplied in the box. And I love the fact that with the press of a button, you know exactly how much juice is left without having to power the laptop on. That's really good. Okay, so my unit has the Intel 9th generation processor. It's the Intel Core i9-9980HK, 8-core processor, very powerful. It's also got the NVIDIA Quadro T2000 with 4 gigabytes of GDDR5 video RAM. And the performance is, as you would expect, very good. Okay, let's talk about the performance itself. It's really good. Now, my unit has 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. That certainly helps, of course. Video transcoding test, because of this Core i9, it did really well, as you can see. That's because the eight cores will help in video rendering, especially 4K video rendering. Check out these results from my video rendering test in Premiere Pro. To give you an idea of exactly how this really does in terms of real-world performance, especially for someone who's a content creator who does video work, this definitely is a good choice. Now, for more synthetic benchmark, of course, the Geekbench 4 test, the OpenCL test, the graphics, it actually did pretty well when you compare it to the Dell XPS 15 and the Vega 20 of the 2019 15-inch MacBook Pros. And the same can be said for the multi-core score as well, outpacing both the XPS 15 and the MacBook Pro. And it did really well on the Cinebench R15 CPU test, actually did very well. I was very impressed with the performance so far on the Precision 5540 mobile workstation. And when it comes to gaming, you actually get some pretty playable frame rates. I find that medium settings are usually where you want to be. 1080p, Fortnite, GTA 5, Overwatch, Far Cry 5, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, all had very playable frame rates. So not only can you get work done with this workstation, you can also get some playing time in as well, playing some games, especially on medium settings. So it's pretty good in that regard. Now, when it comes to the thermals, when you're doing everyday tasks, when you're doing web browsing, email, Microsoft Office, media consumption, watching Netflix, YouTube, and the like, you're going to be fine. Thermal throttling is not an issue. Heat is actually pretty good. Now, when you're doing very intense graphics work, when you're really, really pushing this device, of course, it will thermal throttle. That's the way it is with any thin and light laptop. This is no exception. Now, when you're doing video render work, I actually saw very good performance out of this. I didn't really see too much thermal throttling although if you really push it it will do it so that's just the way it is with these thin and light laptops i'm not it's not a negative thing on this it's something to be aware with any thin and light laptop in this category now the two fans will kick in under heavy load but they're not overly loud not too annoying and that's always good now you'll notice the two downward facing speakers toward the front there, and you'll see it on the bottom of my screen here. And it gives you decent audio, not great. It wasn't great on the XPS 15, and it's not great here. So kind of hoping for a little bit more bass, a little bit more volume. Not bad if you need to watch a YouTube video or listen to some music here and there. 
Of course, you could always connect via Bluetooth headphones, via the Bluetooth 5.0 that this has, or connect via the 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Everything sounded crystal clear. Okay, let's wrap it all up. Can I recommend the Dell Precision 5540 mobile workstation here for late 2019? The answer is absolutely, especially if you're a mobile professional that needs to do video rendering, needs something that's thin and light that you can take with you on an airplane that won't conk out after two, three hours, and that will definitely be portable. This checks all those boxes. Of course, it's not perfect. There is some thermal throttling when you're under heavy load, especially if you go with the Core i9 option. It can get expensive, of course, but then again, those that are looking at this, probably not that concerned with the price, more of whether or not this will get the job done. It's also got a pretty nice carbon fiber deck, but it is a major fingerprint magnet, so keep that in mind. Audio could be better, not terrible, not great either. And some say it's a dated design on this, or of course, its consumer cousin, the XPS 15. But I love its gorgeous OLED display, and I think this is a really excellent choice, especially if you want more business type options than the XPS 15 gives you. I'm going to give this a score of 90% making the Dell Precision 5540 mobile workstation worth your money. So what do you think about this beast, the Dell Precision 5540? Yes, it does look like the Dell XPS 15, virtually identical. There are some key differences under the hood. Now my unit is running the Core i9 with its eight cores, same as the Dell XPS 15 that I took a look at recently. This also has that beautiful OLED display, which is simply gorgeous and absolutely stunning. I absolutely love the OLED display on this and of course its consumer counterpart, the XPS 15. Now the key difference here is not only the GPU, but you also can get different storage options with this, but it's the same build that we've come to love with the Dell XPS 15. Now, some people are clamoring for a redesign. I actually think this design really works, and I don't think you need a radical redesign here, but one thing you will have to keep in mind, this will get hot, and especially with the Core i9, it will generate heat, but that's to be expected in a thin and light 15 inch laptop or workstation in this case. But for everyday tasks, it's gonna be fine in terms of the heat management for the cooling. The fans are not too loud on this and it really is a powerhouse under the hood here. So you really can use this for video editing, for graphics work, if you're doing digital imaging, if you're doing those kinds of things, just definitely can get the job done. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think of the Precision 5540? I absolutely love it. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.